right, so social media has opened up a world of opportunity, but that can also be a really confusing place. Is there, is there a principal reason why I should delete my social media? Why is it so important to us? And finally, what effect do you think it's having on the mental health of all of us? What was in the magazine definitely affected what we wore, um, what we did, how we acted. lives was affected really by the magazine. When you looked at the models or the stars on TV, they were definitely thin mm -hmm. and um, they were, that that's the body image was that was projected made us feel like we should be thinner. Tanning, getting, laying out and getting a suntan was something, in the summertime, the models would all be super tan. So we all would lay on the beach and put oil on ourselves and bake it was horrible mm -hmm. but that's but that's the look we wanted so i had friends who wanted to get nose jobs because their noses weren't small like the like the models they had big noses i mean anything you can think of on the body was affected i think by the magazines and that was the whole point of it was to sell the products that were in the magazines i used to feel bad about myself when i went on social media but not as much Maybe every once in a while I'll see a post that makes me feel bad. But my name is Reagan. I'm 19 and I go to Towson. My name is Naomi. I've been on social media for about eight years. A lot of hours are spent on social media. <laughs> I got social media around freshman year of high school. Yeah, it's, it's had a positive impact to some degree. It's nice to get nice comments like on videos and Instagram posts. Um, negative at first because I wasn't really in touch with who I was, but um, positive because there were like role models per se on social media of how I wanted to look like, and so I strive to like be that way. Portray myself as a feminine woman um, when I was first starting to realize who I wanted to be, and then um, social media helped me change that into more like masculine looking and like um, looking the way that I wanted to be, you know? Probably around 14 or 15 is when I started to have issues with social media regarding self-image. Definitely people commenting on other videos, like negative things and bullying and bad comments and stuff definitely affects people's self-image. first time that using TikTok, it just kind of like, I feel like it was consuming me. I found it really confusing that people were making trends out of these like kind of nonsensical things. And I honestly didn't really care that much about like what people were doing in their lives. You know, it felt like it didn't matter. So why was I so invested in it? And they kind of present this really toxic behavior sometimes. And the more I kind of like got sucked into it, the more I didn't feel real myself uh, like uh, when i'm going through tiktok like i see like a like a really pretty girl and then i'm like ooh, and then i'm like i just go through her tiktoks and i'm like why am i not like this and then i pick out certain things and then i'm like man wish i had that and then i work for that for the next like day or two while it's in my mind and then i go back on tiktok and find another thing now i definitely dye my hair all the time cut it self tan for sure change the way I look sometimes. I do think social media is worth it. I think it has positive effects. Um, like connecting with friends and people like that. Yay! At least have you got it all. Yeah, because I'm tired. <laughs>